guys, it is the new year, it's a new day, and I realized I haven't done a grocery haul for you guys in a really long time. So I went to the grocery store today and I figured why not share with you what I got. You know what's weird to me? Every time I go to the grocery store, it's never like the same exact thing. I mean, there are, there are like staples that I'll get, um, but it's like never the same thing. So I really needed to get to the grocery store today before my daughter goes back to school on Wednesday because I need to make sure that she has like all her snacks and stuff for lunches. And as busy as I am, I just have to like make sure I get things like this done ahead of time and have everything in stock so that I'm not constantly running to the grocery store. So with that said, I'll go ahead, as you can see, like everything is like back here. So. Also, I was organizing my pantry, which is going to be its own separate video. I don't know which one is going up first or not, but I was organizing my pantry and I suddenly realized how much of my stuff was expired, unfortunately. So a lot of this is like trying to restock my pantry. In my pantry video, you will see me put uh, the dry foods away. So go check out that video whenever it's up. and. If it's already up before this video, I'll link it down below. If not, then click subscribe so that you get notified when I post my new video and then you'll be able to see my pantry makeover. It looks so nice and I'm using Dollar Tree stuff, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. But let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot. I don't know if you guys organize like I do, but anytime that I come home from the grocery store, I separate the things that go in the fridge versus the pantry first and then I put everything up. That way I can um, organize everything in a better fashion in the fridge and in the pantry. All right, random information, but I got some Chobani uh, yogurts in the strawberry banana. These are our favorite flavors. I don't get these enough, so I got four of these. For me, I love these because I can grab it really quickly in the mornings if I'm like running late to go to work. I can just grab it, shake it up, and drink it on my way there. Makeup wipes, essential. I got some eggs. I got two packs of these. They are organic. I'm just trying to always buy organic things as much as I possibly can. Although, personally, if you're asking me, I think everything should technically be organic. But what do I know? Um, anyway, organic eggs. And I always have to get like two packs of eggs because I make a lot of things between scrambled eggs, sunny side up. We make omelets. Um, I use it obviously for like baking and dinners. If I'm like, you know, fried chicken, things like that. And I also make ham and egg and cheese croissants, which I've done a recipe of. So I'll link it down below if you want to go check it out. But I always have to keep, buy like 24 packs of eggs at all times. These are just restock items, but just some pure vegetable oil. Some Aunt Jemima. I always get the original flavor. They seem to be out. So I got this like butter. I never skimp on this. I don't like the light stuff. It's probably extremely bad for you, but I don't mind. I got two packages of hamburger meat for dinners. I do plan out my dinners. Let me know if you want to see how I do that. I've asked you guys a couple times, and I know I think I've all, I promised a video in the past, so I'll put one together and I'll do it on my other channel of how like I organize my dinners. I actually print out a menu, and it's really helpful because I buy to that week, and that way I'm not like wasting food because I used to do that a lot. I have been in the mood for some lemonade, so I picked up some of this Simply Lemonade. I've never picked up these rice sides before. I always get like the creamy chicken, but it says taco rice and it just looks so good in the picture. And I wanna like do more tacos and uh, like chicken quesadillas. Thumbs up this video if you wanna see my chicken quesadilla recipe. My daughter loves it. It's super simple. There's nothing frilly to it at all, but it's really, really good. And in that video, if you wanted to see, you could see how easy it actually is. And it's it's delicious, you guys. On that note, but not on that note, actually. It has nothing to do with quesadillas. Cut green beans. I realized cleaning through my canned goods, I didn't have any. Whole kernel corn. I got some chili beans in the medium sauce. Chili beans in mild sauce. And the diced tomatoes. A home favorite of mine, which is these honey butter grand rolls the honey butter crescent rolls. And I love these to do like the little pigs in a blanket. We get the little like mini sausages, roll it up and it's so good. Here is the chicken rice. Now I couldn't find creamy chicken cause that's the one I usually get. But so I just picked up the chicken. I am out of spaghetti. I always get thin spaghetti and I'm out of sugar. So I got the 
pure imperial sugar. I no haven't picked these up in a while and don't go to the grocery store hungry, y'all know. Fritos, original, they're just so good. The saltiness in it. I am making chili, but oddly enough, I never eat, like put this in my chili. I never put like a crunchy texture to my chili at all, um, but this is good for chili, I think. These are just a snack my daughter loves. It's just the Lunchables with the pepperoni. I don't know how she loves it. To me, it looks disgusting. This is the cheese we use in our sandwiches, the white cheddar. Now, I have been getting a little cough here and there, and so I have to make sure that I have some cough drops, especially when I go into the office. I can't be in meetings all day long and cough, cough, cough. It's really annoying. So I'm constantly popping cough drops in my mouth, although that's not a good thing, but I can't help it. I can't be coughing the whole time, you know, in a room full of people. So it's unfortunate, but this is actually super delicious. Has no hint of medicine in it, so it's kind of bizarre to me, but let's see what the ingredient is. So this has menthol 3.5, and it's the honey lemon. But this ingredient is pectin, pectin 2.8 milligrams. I'm telling you, the apple flavor is so good. These are the chips I always get for my daughter for her lunches. They're so quick, easy, throw them in her lunch bag and I'm good to go. And I think this one's my favorite because it has the majority of these we love. Like I don't love the chili Fritos, but everything else is really delicious in here. These I have never purchased before, but I've had them before, if that makes any sense. But these are 20 individual bags of the sweet and salty mix. And this is just perfect for me again, for work. It's very rare that like I get to leave and go to lunch, so I like to have snacks on hand in my bag. So these are just perfect for me to throw in. And the M&Ms for some reason in this, these are M&Ms, but they taste so much better in this mixture than in a regular bag of M&Ms because they're like coated in a saltiness. You guys, so delicious. I got some mashed potatoes. Also for her lunches are these uh, rainbow chocolate chip cookies. Look at what I found. I have never seen these before and I think they're perfect because I am used to buying like the little like smaller version um, with like the little foil top I but I feel like it's not enough especially for like a teenager. You know you have an adult, you have a teenager and then you have like a toddler kind of thing and I feel like this size right here is just perfect for a teen or adult like to snack on. So look how amazing this is. I'm all about this barbecue. It's so good. Just, you know, dishwasher liquid. I got Cool Ranch. These are my daughter's favorite chips. Sometimes she like goes in and out of like what she likes. Uh, she did like the sweet chili Doritos. They're in the purple bag. They're brand new. But now she wants to be back to Cool Ranch. And then these I recently discovered and they are addicting. I've never been the sweet, salty person, and all of a sudden, I am. Like this, and now this, and I'm telling you, this is my favorite. They make like a Hershey's, they make like a s'mores one, but the Reese's bag is so delicious, and you get pretzels, you get the big chunks of Reese's. These, these are my favorite. Whatever these are, they're my favorite. Oh, so good, and the popcorn is covered in chocolate and caramel. Are y'all hungry? Also for her lunches, now not everything goes into her lunch on a daily basis. I just want to make sure that she gets just a different variety. But I got her the Mott's fruit snacks. I got these honey butt, like peanut butter crackers. And then these are her favorite to-go snack, which is just the s'mores granola bar. This next thing, I'm honestly amazed at how big of a hit this is in my house. Now all her friends always come over here. And even the boys will like pick one of these up. One of them actually asked me, where'd you get these? I was like... The grocery store. I picked up some black forest ham. I use these for the ham, egg, and cheese croissant I talked about. Some honey smoked turkey in this Deli Fresh Oscar Mayer brand. And because I'm making chili, I got some of the mild cheddar cheese, which I sprinkle on top once it's done. I picked up some chicken tenders. All This is on my menu for the week, so I will be frying it. I did do a chicken fried recipe as well, so I'll link that below for you guys too. Now for the vegetables, I got a green pepper, two jalapenos, a sweet onion, a red bell pepper, and a yellow bell pepper. Got some bananas and some celery sticks. 
already pre-cut. These are easy to put in her lunches as well, and they are pre, like individually packaged. And you get 10 packs in here, and they're really good cookies. I got her her favorite cookies, which are the Milano mints. And I got this for my fruit parfaits, which is a recipe tutorial that I'm about to do for you guys. And this is just the granola that I'm gonna add. It's a strawberry granola. And the packaging is cute too, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, not that packaging should matter, but let's face it. We gravitate towards certain packaging. And this is an organic blend. And I just picked up some gallon storage Ziploc bags. They're always good to have on hand and I hate like needing things like that and then going to my drawer and finding out that I don't have it. I was out of foil paper because I've been making a lot of cookies. And these are two new drinks. Um, I've never tried them before, which is why I only bought one of each. Luckily, they sell them individually. But this is a lemon, sparkling lemonade. And the flavor is original because they had these in a bunch of different flavors like this one. And this one is a lemon-lime flavor. So I have no idea what these are, what they taste like, but hopefully they're good. These are just really great snack, quick snack to put in the fridge, diced peaches. And then I got some honey crisp apples. You guys, they smell so good. For the celery dip, I got this ranch dip. And for my fruit parfaits, I got the Faye 2% plain yogurt. This is another bag of the Milano mint cookies. I like the Milanos too, but I don't like mint and chocolate together. If I do ever get these cookies, it's the raspberry and chocolate one. I love those, but I try to stay away from buying myself cookies because I can't handle that kind of temptation. So if you're wondering her favorite, her favorite, her favorite, where are my favorites? I can't because I, I work too hard to jog and lose all that weight. And trust me, I've put on some weight this holiday season. <laughs> For her, the Pop-Tarts. And because the drinks are way too heavy to lift up, I was just going to pick up the camera and show you guys. The Gatorades are staples. I love the purple and my daughter loves the yellow. And got some Frappuccinos. The mocha is her favorite. I wanted to try the caramel, although I'm not big on iced coffee. I only like hot coffee, but I love caramel. So hopefully it's really good. I'm gonna give it a whirl. And then the ginger ale is my favorite. We always drink like clear colored sodas. I really don't like darker ones like root beer and coke and things like that. So we try to stick to the light colored drinks. And then I found this market side sweet tea at Walmart. So my daughter loves sweet tea. Figured it, we would try it. Then there's our 2% milk and our simply orange lemonade or orange juice. And this is what the aftermath kind of looks like. The drinks are behind me but this is pretty much my entire haul. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul. I always find it kind of like, I don't know, I feel kind of shy when I do my groceries. My grocery haul, I don't know why, is that not weird? But I know you guys love it and I wanted to share it with you today. I hope that you liked it. Comment down below and let me know like snacks that you choose to eat so that I can get ideas to try new things because I don't know, you know, I just want to try new things. And I will leave my recipe videos down below. I'll leave all of them, but especially the ones I mentioned, which are the ham croissant and the fried chicken recipe. I just made a new recipe on my video, which were the French toast, which are so delicious. And that's it, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget about the pantry makeover if you're interested in that. And now I'm gonna put away all of this food and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.